Welcome to Second Recap. Today, I will recap the 2023 movie Nowhere. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. The movie Nowhere follows Mia and Nico, a couple from Spain who live under the oppressive rule of a totalitarian regime that has seized power in the country and its neighboring states. The regime ruthlessly kills off the dependent population, as society is plagued by a lack of essential resources like food and water. Mia, who is pregnant along with Nico, plans to escape the country and start a new life in Ireland, away from the clutches of the regime. To make their escape, the couple pays human traffickers to transport them to a shipyard where they will board a ship bound for Ireland. However, even before the journey begins, Mia and Nico are separated. While the regime's military inspects Mia's truck, Nico is directed to another truck. When the regime discovers people inside the truck, they open fire, but Mia manages to escape by hiding under a crate. Eventually, Mia finds herself aboard a ship but learns that Nico never made it there. The driver of his truck abandoned it, leaving him stranded. Nico desperately searches for his wife and unborn child. Meanwhile, Mia's container is knocked off the ship and ends up floating in the water. Despite the challenging circumstances, Mia gives birth to a daughter named Noah while struggling to survive inside the container. Throughout this time, we also learn about Mia and Nico's past. They used to run a general store in their neighborhood and had another daughter named Yuma. Tragically, Yuma was killed by the regime after wandering out of the house. Mia blames herself for her daughter's death. After the birth of Noah, Mia is unable to contact Nico because her phone screen is shattered. Additionally, Nico does not reach up to Mia, leaving her to rely on her own instincts to protect herself and Noah from the relentless waves of the ocean. Mania manages to survive with the assistance of the other passengers and the little food and water remaining in the container. However, supplies quickly run out and Mia begins to starve. Despite the dire circumstances, Mia works tirelessly to keep water from entering the container and takes care of Noah sharing stories of her life with Nico. Determined to survive for her daughter's sake, Mia is forced to sever the umbilical cord and carve an opening in the container ceiling. Slowly, her condition improves, and she devises a way to catch fish for sustenance. The rest of the plot revolves around whether Mia and Noah can survive in the hostile and brutal environment. Their lives are in jeopardy during the film's last act when the container fills with water, destroying the meager resources Mia has gathered. Injured Mia and her daughter must cling to the container's roof as they drift aimlessly across the ocean. However, Mia's determination is reignited when she discovers a picture of her deceased daughter, Yuma. In a rush of emotion, Noah's crib escapes the container, floating across the ocean. Mia, driven by her love for her children, swims towards Noah's cries and eventually reunites with her daughter. With only Noah's crib as their sole security, Mia and Noah continue to float in the ocean. Sadly, Mia's strength eventually runs out, and she succumbs to exhaustion. The fate of Noah is left uncertain as they drift further into the vast ocean, and is close to giving up on her survival quest. She thanks Noah for being with her and admits her daughter's presence filled her with courage. However, she can no longer protect her daughter against the harsh ocean waves. Just as Mia is about to give up, she notices seagulls in the sky and deduces they are close to land. As a result, Maya uses the last of Noah's umbilical cord to attract the seagulls, hoping it will also bring the attention of nearby fishers. Finally, a fisherwoman and her family come to Noah's aid. Mia, on the other hand, decides to grow after using all of her remaining strength to shove Noah's cradle in the direction of the ground. Just as it seemed like there was no hope left, the fisherwoman saves Mia by tying her hand to Noah's crib with a cord. The string serves as a metaphor for the connection between a mother and daughter, just like the umbilical cord does. The loss of Yuma inspires Mia to do whatever it takes to keep her second daughter safe throughout the entire movie. However, Mia is inspired by Noah to persevere in the face of insurmountable circumstances. Noah ends up saving her mother in the end, which makes for an emotional resolution. The film ends with Maya waking up after the fisherwoman performs CPR, and she realizes she and Noah have reached Ireland. Maya wonders what happened to Nico and how Yuma died. In the film, Mia's tale of survival is balanced by her family tragedies. At the start of her journey, a pregnant Maya is separated from her husband Nico, and it quickly becomes evident that surviving without Nico will be difficult for Mia, especially in her current condition. Maya feels even more abandoned when Nico fails to contact her for days. It appears he has forsaken his wife and their unborn daughter. However, towards the end, Nico resurfaces, adding more misery to Mia's already dire circumstances. He reveals that he was caught attempting to board a ship to reach Mia, 
and as a result he was shot. With his dying breath, he speaks to Mia and Noah. In contrast, the circumstances surrounding the death of Yuma Mia and Nico's firstborn daughter were horrific. Yuma urged her mother to flee their home as the regime carried out mass killings. Unfortunately, Yuma was discovered and killed by the dictatorship within five minutes of Maya leaving. Consequently, Mia holds herself responsible for her daughter's death. Throughout her journey, Mia carries images of Yuma that serve as a constant reminder of her guilt and push her to her limits. Furthermore, Yuma's passing inspires Mia to do whatever it takes to protect Noah. Maya's quest for survival is defined by her own misfortunes, which compel her to overcome grief and suffering to ensure the safety of her infant daughter. It is Mia's resilience and strength that ultimately guarantee the survival of both her and Noah.